Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival, where in this episode we are starting from where we left off in the last episode with only three and a half hearts. I've moved the furnace and the crafting table over here where it's a little bit safer. I see you over there. And now we are actually able to get some food and heal up and deal with the situation. Um, I want to get a couple of things done today. One... That's an interesting looking tree. One, I want to get a startup base going just so we have a place we can call home. And I'm thinking this hill right here looks pretty cool. Um, I was hoping to maybe do something a little bit different. Um, maybe I'll think of something as we're going with this, but because I have, um, I have some ideas basically. Because I do have some stuff I want to do today as well, other than getting started on a small home. And that is also to make a little bit of a Hucklin killing area. Because in the last episode we discovered that we can be on the ground and being able to kill them without them killing us. So that I feel like is something we should definitely take to our advantage. Um, also, uh, I need more wood for a chest. Um, and who knows, maybe we can find a fortress, but I don't want to make too many promises because I know what happens. I say we're gonna do this and that and this and that and 20 minutes has passed and we've gotten one thing done. So, but first off, let's take a quick look at Bob over here, if it's safe. Hopefully it's gonna be safe enough. Hopefully. Um, we'll do this quick. <laughs> we'll do this quick. Wait. Go away. We have Bob here. And he has some new traits for us. If we go in here. So basically what I have done is just to show you. Where? Yeah, you get a bit. Oh, you little stinker. You little stinker. Get out of here. Basically what I've done is to get a glass now. We can basically get uh it basically costs us 16 soul sand and one coal. Okay, they're hunting. For one glass. I feel like that is fair. Um, I still haven't figured out a price for lapis at redstone yet, but I did figure out the rest. Um, it was suggested that one cobblestone were equal to 64 blackstone, and to be honest with you, I quite like this trait. You may ask, well, shouldn't the brewing stand be a little bit expensive since it is potions? Well, as some of you pointed out that I didn't even think of myself is that you need water to make potions. I was dumb. Um, so that's a thing, and that is why we now have introduced a water bucket. And you may also think, well, the water bucket can't be used in the nether. Well, that is why we will need to make a cauldron. So in that way, it is kind of expensive as well, because that is seven iron ingots we need to use for a cauldron. Plus one bucket, water bucket is like four water bottles, I think. I think, I think it's something like that. Plus then we would have to get the glass if we don't get... Um, the glass, well, the bottles from the piglins. So that is that, and also to get the paper. Um, I removed the grindstone basic. Um, I removed the grindstone because now we can get the cobblestone. Um, but the, the 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 books themselves are quite expensive. Uh, I may have angered someone. Um, the book themselves are difficult, difficult to get because you either need to get an enchanted book and then you will need to use that enchanted book in a grindstone. That's just one book. So I feel like we should have a different way. Plus I want to get down to the roots basically. The roots of the item that we want to make. So in this case it's paper because we have the leather to make the books. We just need the paper. So that is why I've added the paper trade. Um, and I feel like that is a is a pretty fair trade right there. Yeah, you don't like the warped area, do you? <laughs> uh, that is something you guys pointed out as well, actually. Ow! Leave me alone! Well, maybe I should leave you alone then. Uh, let's just get some more food here. Oh dear. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, they don't they don't like this area. If I get it in once more, then I'm dead. Gotcha. Yoink. I like the axe. The attack damage. Why are there so many? Okay, let me deal with these. There definitely seems to be a lot of food or, yeah, hoglins in this area. So I feel like if we made like a killing area over there by the enderman behind him, then, uh, then I feel like that would be really productive. Because we should be able 
to get a lot of food. If we can get down the hole, that is, before um, before we get smacked. So how about we retreat? That is Bob. That is his traits. That is how we are today. Um, <laughs> that didn't even make any sense. I'm sorry. Um, oh yeah, we can use the wooden tools now to to use as fuel. That's really good. Let me cook up this uh, this food. Um, I'm going to put down some shroom lights. I don't know if I want the home to be here. I just like this like canyon, I guess, area here. I just like it. Um, but I'm definitely not saying this is the final decision. Because since we started the season one in a warped forest, I feel like maybe starting in the crimson forest this time. That is going to be a lot more dangerous, of course, but uh, that would also make it a lot more interesting. Don't you think? Sorry for the interruption, but just a reminder, you can now get another survival merch down below. We are having a summer sale and you can use promo code SS20 to get 10% off at checkout. Go and get it now! Alright, that is all the food we can get for now. Uh, we definitely need more fuel, so that means we need more wood. Yeah, I, you know what, I think we should definitely put the home here in the Crimson Forest. I just don't know where, I haven't really done any scouting. Um, I do think that I'm gonna get some of these though, because they're great ladders, especially if you're out on an adventure. It would be very nice to have some of these, so I'm gonna collect a few here. And there we go. Let's go out here. Uh, can they even be placed here? Yes, they can. Sweet. But not always picked up. Ow. I, he, he knocked him towards me. Yeah, that's right, guys. Get him. Get him. Oh, look what we have down here. Okay, first off, you need to stop following me. Because uh, no good. <laughs> Let me just get my nether right here. And not fall. Um, so that is where we were yesterday. Hmm, and the portal is over there. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a really good spot for a home. I feel like it fits something. It should definitely be elevated. Because otherwise... There's a lot of piglins here. Because otherwise we're going to have to deal with a lot of hoglins when going in and out. So, maybe elevated somewhere. Really? That could work. That's that's a, that's a flat area, isn't it? That is actually a really flat area. That is in the Crimson Forest. With the portal over there. And that could possibly maybe make it so that we have a staircase all the way up there. What is actually up there? Uh, might go ahead and uh, make a few bridges on the trees here. <laughs> <laughs> and see what's up there. It looked like it was a close area, but it's actually not. What does it open to? A lot of gold. Oh, gold. That That's a lot of gold up there. Uh, hmm. 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 Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Just gonna take a little bit of this. Maybe a little bit of that. This place is very interesting. There's Hucklands over there. This place is very interesting, I see gold. Give me. Alright, so it opens up into a lot more. So, there's a lot in this direction. Um, <laughs> well, maybe we can find a fortress in this direction someday. But anyway, I think we're going to decide that we're going to go on the edge of that uh, crimson forest over there. Well, not the edge, but the cliff. Um, but that means that I am going to need a lot more wood. I want to make it crimson themed this time. Uh, oh, I missed that. Okay. Um, so that means I need crimson wood. I need crimson wood. Get out of here. And I want a hoe because, as some of you pointed out as well, a hoe is very, very useful to get rid of these these uh, these things right here. I think they make it faster to get this. Yeah, they make it faster to get the glow rooms as well, which is really nice. So that is gonna make my job a lot easier. I'm going to take the craft table with me. And I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and uh, get a lot of wood here. So I will be... I don't know how much I'll get. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, two stacks or something. Hopefully that'll be enough. I'll be right back.
also just realized that these are red mushrooms, which we do not have any of. So I'm just gonna take all of these and uh, just just in case. We have a lot of food, but um, just in case we need it. All right, I have two stacks of crimson stem and I have some netherwort blocks and some weeping vines. Uh, just gonna keep them. You never know what we can use them for. So I'm now gonna head back over and we can start uh, yeah, building our first base. Now, to be fair, I don't know how permanent it will be. Um, I have no idea how much we're gonna stay here, but but it, it's our first base. I think we're just gonna call it our main base, not our starter base. Well, maybe it will be our starter base, because I do want to do more building in the season. So, it probably will be our starter base. And uh, maybe we'll have another base delta. Who knows? But uh, let's let's get down there first. Let's clear the area, and uh, yeah, let's get to it then. We have one issue though, and that is all the hoglins in this area. Um, I think it would be a good idea to get well get rid. Of, okay, I think they might be getting rid of some of them now. Um, but I have a lot of gold here, so I think it would be wise to twenty six. Whoa! Wait, I already have a chest plate, don't I? Uh, yes, I need a helmet, I need a helmet, and then I need leggings. There we go, and now we have 14 gold ingots to spare, which I don't know what we will be using them on. We will either save them, or we can maybe do some bartering as well. We're getting a lot done this episode, I feel like. Okay, so we have these two over here. If I run over to that part of uh, stuff over there, and just dig down like a staircase, I think we'll get a pretty good killing chip. All right, let's go do it. Yeah. Uh, 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 ah, wrong time for pickaxe to break. Retreat to the wood forest. <laughs> oh dear, that that was that was the wrong timing for that to happen. Okay, we're gonna try again. All right, so there we go, stone pickaxe. Okay, a little bit of food in our tummy. And uh, while they are distracted by all the piglins, I think we're gonna get over here. And these guys are probably... That's the issue. The small ones will definitely come after us. Stop that. Why are there so many small ones? Okay, I think... You know what? I think we're just gonna... Okay, smack all the small ones. Then they won't annoy us. Okay. See, now that we have armor, they only... Well, only do... Three hearts of damage instead of the four. That is definitely an improvement. Okay, quickly get over here and hopefully a bunch of new ones won't spawn. And we might have to take care of these guys first as well because they're gonna be annoying. All right, let's get down to business. So I'm thinking a stair, a staircase moving all the way up. All right, if I take my netherrack here, so maybe if we count one, two, three. I don't like these small ones. Get back here. Mm. Uh, that's another small one. Okay. Uh, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 blocks between uh, these. So 13 if we don't, if we count this one as well. So 13, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right here would be the center. Get out of here. So this would be the center. So if I start building up like this, a small stair here, just to begin with, it won't be netherrack, don't worry. And we'll meet right here. I think I want it to be one bit higher. Yeah, I think I want it to be one bit higher. Maybe two? Yeah, I think two actually. Okay, so we would need to start from this block right here. Get, get, leave me alone. That is actually pretty easy. Do a flip flop and a flip. All right, cool. Nice. I'm just gonna maybe build a little thing like that. Okay, um, I already did a mistake because I actually wanted a small, I wanted a platform up here. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a platform here so that I could maybe make a staircase up there. Yeah, it needs to move three, needs to move three blocks over. 
All right, I think this is good. We have two blocks here. I would ideally like it to be three. <laughs> uh, no, no, I actually wanted this. I want this, 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 I changed my mind. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so the base will be in there, uh, or home. Should we call it base or home? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. What is this? A base or a home? One, two, three, four. I'm pretty... I don't really have... I'm not really going after a specific design. I'm just kind of going. All right. So, um, mm -hmm. so here we will have a platform. All right. So this means we now need to go down and... Where did you guys come from? Okay. This is going to be my strat. I'm going to take this. Gonna run up and gonna do that. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't need to go back down. Okay, go dip, dip, dip. Okay, I'm going to use slabs as floor to save on blocks. All right, something like this. I want a huge balcony out here in front. A huge, nice looking balcony. That's one, two, three, four. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think we'll even extend it to out here. And I need more. More, 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 more. Let me know actually what you like. What you like? Um, do you want building like this or as a time lapse? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Because there is a lot of crafting and a lot of fiddling and a lot of mistakes. Um, so I guess that makes it interesting. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking over here we can have a, a stair going up to this up here and yeah and then i would like some warped wood actually because i would like to make some warped fences around here maybe put a fence gate just to stop you guys from getting up here um but for the actual house i'm thinking of not putting it here i want this kind of i want it kind of like in i want it in the the wall here so if i just get this out i'm thinking Something kind of like we had in season one ish, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. Something like this. Now, of course, we need lighting, so I am going to just put down some room lights. I don't know if they will be, uh, if they will stay there or not. But they're gonna. They light up a lot, actually. Well, I can't complain. Um, all right, so we'll have a single door. I like to switch between warped and crimson wood, so I think the door will be warped. Um, I'm thinking something like this. Well, you know, if we have a fence here and a fence here, maybe we won't. Maybe we won't even need an actual doorway. We could just have this. And is it possible by any chance? We could, we could just have it open. Yes. Yes. I like that. I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that. Let's get the crafting table out of here. Um, I'm going to go down and get some warped wood. Real quickly. Run, 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 run. I think this should be hopefully enough. I mean, it's progress. Definitely not done with this staircase at all. I think, to be honest, the balcony and the staircase is what gonna have the most work done today. Also, we're gonna get rid of all these leather rack here and use crimson slabs as flooring. Just gonna make a bunch more slabs because we'll need them later. There we go. Now I want to make some. I guess I'll use crimson wood for the sticks. Uh, there we go. And I believe it's like this, isn't it? Yes. Now, how many do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Uh, yep, that'll work. And then we'll put that all the way around. This is already looking quite homey. I like it. Now I need to excavate this out. I'm thinking we'll have it go in five deep, maybe? 
Does five deep sound good? I think it does. Five deep. Five blocks deep. So yeah, I think I think that'll be good. All right, home has been excavated, and to be honest with you, I like this. I might go one more in, um, but then I I think I think we have a pretty good space to work with here. Um, I'm still thinking whether or not I should get a door in or not. I mean, nothing can really drop down from up. Oh, and this is something here. So I guess that's a thing. But like, eh, yeah. I'll worry about the entrance at another time. And as well with the walls inside, I think I want. Maybe I want warped wood inside. I'm not sure yet. I don't know whether or not to keep this entire home crimson style or mixed like the last one because the mixed style really does look cool in my opinion um, but I kind of feel like going with the crimson style this time anyways let me just get rid of this stuff here I just feel like having crimson in here might make it a little bit dark of course we'll install lights in fact there shall be one here and one here I feel like don't know if they are going to be in the floor or not I think this space is going to be a slow a slow work, basically a project that gets worked on every now and then. Um, I feel like this is very bright, I mean, they, they should probably be in the ceiling, shouldn't they? Yeah, they, they, they probably should. Hmm, I like this design, like the way this is. I like that actually, I think. I think I like it. <laughs> I think I like it. Yeah, I think that actually looks quite good. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Should we go full crimson design? Like, should we stay? Let this remain crimson only? Or should we maybe put some warped stuff in here? Like, I obviously have the warped fence here. Um, that's just to, to add some difference in the colors here. But uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. But I think this is... The work that we're gonna get done on the base for two day. Well, the inside of it anyway. We still need the floor and the ceiling, of course. But this episode is getting kind of long, so I want to really quickly um, do this, these stairs. Because they, they're a mess and they need to look way better. Um, let me think. Yeah, they need to look way better and I think I know what to do. I'm gonna switch those around. And we're basically just gonna do this and that. Yeah, because we don't want it. I don't think we want it higher up than that. Because then we can put a fence here. Maybe? Yeah, because then otherwise it would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is me talking to myself. I think we're definitely gonna make a Hucklin killer in the next episode. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think they're, well, we're at war. They're hunting this one. I want to kind of just go around, not get any attention. Just really quickly just place this. Go away. Place this, place this. Place this, place. Uh, in a minute. Yeah. Gotcha. Goodbye. Now, real quickly, I want to add some lights here. I just don't know. Oh dear. Yeah, the man. You want company? Oh no. Get. Get. Yep. This is why we have a fence gate. I think in the future I'll make this stair. Uh. Ugh. Definitely why. Yeah. See why we have a set. Why we have a fence now. I think we'll definitely in the future have um, a stair that is three blocks wide. Finally, as I was saying, I want lights up here. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, and then 
place. Yeah, that'll work. Let's remove these. And I want a little platform here as well. But I think I think I've definitely gotta change the staircase. Um in the next episode, in fact. So <gasps> I don't wanna die. Ah! I accidentally hit one of the piglins small ones and now this one is after me. Oh no. Oh no. Well, if you get over here, fella, um, I can kill- How does he do so much damage? Aha! Not okay. Not okay. Huh? Oh no, he has taken my- He has taken my armor and he's taking all my gold! No! Give me my stuff, you annoying little- Ah. Hey, he's dying. I'm killing him. Did I get everything? He took all of... Oh no. Then I'm